Jim Dobre from Van Haag. Got my Soviet glass here. What we're going to do, we're going to head to the Polish shop and get a few Polish beers before we begin our Polish adventure. Yes, yes, please. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Okay. Dziękuję. Tasia also. Cześć. 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 Bye, bye. Bye, bye. I love the Polish community. Anywhere you go, you're bound to meet the Polish community and there's some of the warmest, friendliest people that you meet. So we have our first beer. Polish beer, Pela. And this is actually brewed in a place called Lublin in Poland. And it was founded in 1864 from a ruined monastery. Let's give this a little try. Got my Soviet glass here. There you go. I'm not a big drinker. I'm only going to have it in this small, small glass. Brieka, Prost. Let's give it a little try. Mmm, it's light and refreshing. I quite like it. I've not had this before. Next, we got Zewick. I'm totally pronouncing that wrong anyway. So this was found, so this was found in 1856. I quite like, quite like the little logo here as well. Brewed using free ingredients only. Brewed using pure mountain water. Right, let's see what they produce. Get my Soviet glass ready. There you go. Priyaka, lost. Let's give this a little try. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I actually got into Polish beer when I was living in rugby back in the UK for my neighbours. My Polish neighbours, Monica and Peter. Cheers, Monica and Peter. And then um, I got to like Polish beer a bit too much of Polish food and I put on a bit of weight. Then I had my Polish gym instructor, Arta, used to um, not be so pleasant to me in the gym. Cheers, Arta. Got some. Um, Polish sausage to accompany the beer. I like it. Mm. Frost. Next on our Polish beer review, we got Zuba. I like it because of the bison on here. That's really cool, man. Let's crack it open. Ah, good one. Jesus, look at the head on that. I can put a flake on there. Cheers. Oh, you can have the can. I'm not a big drinker, you see. Priyaka, cheers. Let's give this a little try. Now that's, now that's actually my favourite. So, we've got one more beer to try before we head to Poland actually. Tiski. And this was established in 1629, and that's all I know about it. Let's give this a little try. Oh god, that's good. I still think Zuba's my favourite one so far, but 
just a strong contender. We'll try some more beers in Poland tomorrow. The journey begins. So, duck a couple hours to kill at the airport, have some coffee, crack on with some work, and we're going to jump on our flight to Poland. Let's go for security. That's my ticket. It took 15 minutes to come from the airport into Krakow Old Town. And the ticket was 17 zlotys, which is about £3.50. The train was on time, it was clean, the staff were friendly. Makes a change from the UK. Right, let's go check into the hotel. I grab a quick beer. Have a little shot. Oh, that's good. Just having some um, having with horseradish. Absolutely love this stuff. Goes down really well with vodka as well. Cheers. So just heading out of Old Town. A bit too touristy for me. You guys know what I like. Socialist relics and penguins. <laughs> and beer. So, I made a decision. It's a bit late. I need to get back to my hotel and do some work. Oh. I got my sausage and beer to keep me company. And tomorrow we head off for a few days. And I'll be back again in Krakow. And I'll continue this video. Cheers. Gingerbread from Krakow. We got back here last night and um, we spent about three nights in Ukraine. So uh, we'll continue where we left off. So, um, let's get out of Old Town and um, head towards the airport and we'll do a currency review. And I think we'll call that a day. And maybe a quick beer. It's so touristy here.